primary key of a relational table uniquely identifies each record in the table for example if two persons have the same name they can be uniquely they can still be uniquely identified by their ids which is which will be unique now unique key there is another thing called unique key let's see the definition in relational database design a unique key can uniquely identify each row in a table so what's the difference here also if two persons have the same name they can be uniquely identified with their unique key that is id in this case so what's the difference between primary key and unique key technically it seems it's it seems to be similar but there is a major difference primary keys are also unique keys but primary keys can be referenced by other table using foreign key but unique key constraints cannot be referenced by a foreign key so this is the major difference so let's see what is foreign key now a foreign key in one table points to a primary key in another table for example in table 2 id is foreign key in table 1 id is primary key we need not store all the personal details of a user in all the table we are using in our project in one table we will store all the user information and a primary key using which we will reference to that person and his information in all other tables this can be done using only primary key and foreign key and not unique key and foreign key technically primary key is also a unique key but unique key is not a primary key that's the major difference another thing is not null which is we don't want an empty field in id attribute because we need to identify each person with something unique so not null is used in such cases unique key is also not null primary key is by default not null or else we can explicitly tell some fields as not null in php my admin there are some icons to be clicked for primary key unique key to edit these values to delete these attributes so i have marked all such icons basically clicking on which a field can be made primary key and unique key we can click on delete button to delete it auto increment and not null click on edit and go inside the field there you can find auto increment check mark if you check that a field basically it should be an integer here i have taken varchar which is wrong by the way if id is integer we can auto increment it basically what we do is while inserting the value we do not give value explicitly to this field which is id it will be taken by automatically by mysql and it will be unique and auto incremented there is another check mark called null for example if a girl don't want to enter her mobile number so mobile number field should be made optional so if she doesn't if she decides not to give the mobile number then it should be empty so we need to allow null values so if such a field is required then just check mark this null feature and that field will explicitly be marked as null which is able to accept null sorry so sql statements for primary key create table table name id is integer not null name is not null so primary key is a keyword in brackets the field name id for unique everything will be same except the keyword unique replace the primary key with unique so the foreign key create table this is another table by the way orders 
ID roll number here roll number is made primary key and the foreign key is ID which references the ID of another table which is persons this is it if some if your MySQL is using some engines like INN or DB we need to specify it after the bracket close and before the semicolon is ended so these are the things to be taken care of these are basic things for notes please visit technotip.com and search for this video using the search bar you will get the notes this video and other comments you can discuss your problems share your experiences help other people solve their problem and help us know something more if you have explored something else more important thanks for watching please like this video on youtube and share it on facebook twitter etc thanks for watching